What's up? I'm Kevin Millar. Nomar loves you. Hello, sports fans, and welcome to another rousing edition of the Noma Loves You channel for your entertainment. And I have picked up something kind of cool, kind of unusual. You guys have seen me open some 2020 Topps Heritage High number in the past, but not so much of the base. In fact, I don't think I've ever opened the base here on the channel. And I was at the awesome card store down in Phoenix, the Batter's Box in North Phoenix. Highly recommend that store. I am gonna do a tour of them one of these days. I did not have time when, uh, ooh, we got a French text card. You see that yellow one? Did not have time the day that I was picking up this box and a few other things, because I was on my way home from the airport and we we're trying to beat rush hour, but I will do a tour of the batter's box one of these days. It's awesome store in Phoenix. It's been there since the 1980s and it is just fantastic. So they happen to have this in stock. This is not something I normally buy a lot of, but I thought being the lover of heritage that I am and being someone that wants to bring you guys amazing content, I thought I would do it. It looks like we have a mini card here as well, right there. I'm trying to see if I can reveal the, uh, the French card is going to come last in this particular uh, pile if I did that right so anyway we're just gonna have to let the let things shake out with the mini card whenever it is whenever it wants to come up so hopefully we'll get a real one autograph card we have a one in three chance of getting a real one autograph there's a Cunha that's pretty cool that's a short print anything over 400 in here is going to be a short print and I just knew that wasn't a card that I'd seen a lot of. So that's a short print. And the Josh Bell Mini, that's going to be to 100. So that is also very cool. There's other short prints in here as well. We probably have already passed a few and I just didn't know about it. I guess the Willie Mays insert can go up on the stage. Why not? So yeah, we're going to hope for that. We're going to hope for that autograph. We're trying to kind of avoid the clubhouse collection relic. There's a Brian Abreu rookie with a couple other guys. I don't think that's quite good enough to make the cut. It's so interesting because I know the high number set so well from searching for that ever elusive Lou Bob that I have, uh, it's, it's kind of cool to see guys in this design that I'm so familiar with who are not Lou Bob. Okay, so here's the French card. Be a big card. Big card. It's a Mariner. It's Omar Narvaez. That's not a particularly big card. But it is in French, and these are pretty rare. So, whatever. We'll take it. It'll it'll do. If you like seeing me open obscure, older products, three-year-old products, go ahead and bop that like button while I'm opening up this next pile here. I would greatly appreciate that. Really helps the channel to grow. Please and thank you. And I hope that you are having an awesome day or evening, whatever it is you're doing. I haven't opened cards in quite a while. I uh, kind of got to where I had a lot of videos in the queue and I had a lot of organizing I needed to do in my collection. So it doesn't seem any different to you guys because you've been seeing the content posted regularly, but it feels great to me to be opening cards. Just love opening cards. There's very few things I enjoy more than opening cards, especially with you guys. Devers is not a short print. Still cool though. There's another Willie Mays insert. Uh, I keep on thinking that some of these might be action shots when I see guys swing in the bat or in the middle of the game, but they're not. It's hard to tell with this product because sometimes something is an action shot and sometimes it's not. I'm pretty sure this Baez is an action shot. Yes, it is. Do you see where it says action right above his head? So that is El Mago in the action short print. And I put this Gary Sanchez card at the front for a reason, which I'll talk to you guys about in just a second. Then and now, Seaver and Ryu. That's pretty cool. There's an Arena rookie. Put that up there on the stage. That's pretty cool. And oh, we've got a Chrome card. Let's take a look and see what we got. Something good. Cub, William Contreras, maybe? Wilson Contreras? Yeah. Wilson Contreras will definitely play. One of the better cards we could get at a 9.99, definitely make it to the stage. So we've gotten 
so far. We've gotten a Chrome card. We've gotten an action variant, a mini, and a French text. So we're doing extremely well as far as the inserts go. Savale rookie. Now, if we can just get an autograph to round it out, whew, that would be amazing. That's a cool card. Trout et al. Home run leaders. Solera is so good. Boy, that power. He's got that power stroke. So briefly, I just wanted to say this is what I love about Tops. If you look up the 1971 Thurman Munson, you'll see almost that exact same shot. And I think it's really cool that they did that. And if you pay attention in this product, you will see from time to time cards that are very, very clearly modeled after a card of yesteryear. And I just love when they do that. It's just rad. I love when Topps pays attention. I love when Topps does the extra mile, like keeping the collector in mind. Just the best. So if we did get a clubhouse collection, which I think we might have. Yeah, bummer. There's the clubhouse collection card. It's not the end of the world, but oh well. Maybe we'll get really lucky and there'll be a patch auto. That would be amazing. I don't know really what else we're looking for. I know that obviously we're going to have eight short prints in this card, in this uh, box. So rather than have you guys wait around for those, I think I'll just look at them at the very end and I'll add on to the video if there's anything of note. There's a Logan Webb rookie, so that's pretty cool. Another Solaire card. Azale and Horner rookie. Just a fun set. I really like this set. I'm not crazy about the facsimile autographs, but you know, of course, they're just going off the 1971 set. There's a Gonsolin rookie. He's been hurt, but that's still cool. Vado. Dansby Swanson. All right, so we're coming up on our big hit, which is going to be this. Clubhouse collection. It's going to be Molina. Not autographed. Pretty cool. Hall of Famer. I'll take it. Last but not least, we're going to have our Topps Super Baseball box loader. These are sometimes autographed. I've never gotten one that was autographed, but maybe we'll get lucky. Looks like Kershaw. Not autographed, but cool. All right. So I'm just going to pause for a quick second and look through these short prints, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back, and I did pull some short prints. U is kind of cool. No one too interesting. Uh, there's one in there somewhere that I missed because I only found seven. This one's pretty good. Braves home run champ now, and this one is very good, as I suspected. This is actually probably the best card in this box. So, again, <clears throat> didn't get a huge autograph like I was kind of hoping for. Did I get my money back? No. Did I have fun? Yes. <laughs> I hope you had fun, too. If you had fun and you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. You're going to get a lot more fun stuff headed your way if you do. But we got a lot of fun cards, and uh, we got, like, I mean, odds are getting that many inserts is not going to happen. So we got the box topper of Clayton Kershaw, a.k.a. the Arizona Diamondbacks batting practice pitcher, at least as of the time of this recording. Uh, Gonsolin rookie, Savale rookie, Logan Webb rookie, Randy rookie. That's a pretty cool card. Azalea and Horner rookie, Josh Bell mini, Contreras chrome, Navarez. Again, that's the French text version, which is cool. Speaking of catchers, we got Yadier, and then these are the best cards. Javier Baez, Matt Olson short print, and the Acuna short print. Very cool. A little corner issue down here, as you can see, which is very, very common with these uh, heritage cards, unfortunately, but still a very cool card. Happy with that. Love it even more if it was autographed. If you want to see me pull an autograph out of Topps Heritage of Ronald Acuna Jr., all you have to do is check out the channel because I did pull one recently, and it's awesome. Speaking of awesome, you know what else is awesome? You are awesome. And you should put a big smile on your face because baseball cards are awesome. And no Ma loves you. Please check back with me tomorrow. I'll have more delicious baseball card content. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for tuning in.